Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do, do Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you are watching Web API Benchmarking .NET 6 Minimal vs Rust Optimized Actix Web. Uh, in the last video I have it here. Let me uh, full screen this. In the last video we benchmarked these uh, tools and uh, we saw that uh, the .NET Minimal was faster than Rust Actix Web and this made a huge impression on me. But still uh, it was faster, that is what the benchmarks were showing. Plus another interesting thing that we saw, me and the viewers, was that Rust was not uh, using all the CPU resources and this is the specific point of the video. As you can see here, this is the Rust API under benchmark and it does not utilize the full capacity of the CPUs. And this was a question that was raised in my mind, plus it was raised by a viewer to me. And uh, I said that I will look into it because indeed it was interesting to me too. At the same time, I looked around and I saw that there was a, a, a same issue in the Actix web repository, uh, the same question, but there was no answer to it by the author of Actix web. So I started looking around and uh, playing with things and I found, uh, I believe, the solution. And the solution is this, or the cause of this behavior, let me say, because it was, it, it is not a problem per se, but uh, it is something. So the problem, let's say, that the CPUs were not utilized is because of the number of workers that uh, the server starts with. If we check the documentation here, this is the Actix web documentation, it says that the server automatically starts a number of HTTP workers. By default, this number is equal to the number of logical CPUs in the system. This number can be overridden with the workers method. So the default uh, configuration is the logical CPUs in the system. So in my case, I have here my system monitor. As you can see, I have 16 logical CPUs. And this was the initial configuration. But it seems to me that uh, configuring this to be equal to the actual uh, CPUs that I have uh, performs, makes Actix Web perform a lot better. So I created uh, this test quickly to, to show you that uh, NumCPU uh, exposes two methods. One is get, which returns the logical CPUs, as you can see 16. And the other is get physical, which uh, um, provides the physical CPUs, the, the, the physical, the actual cores that you have. So if we run this test, you will see that the test passes, which means that uh, indeed the logical uh, CPUs that uh, my system, that Rust Actix Web sees in my system is 16. And this was the configuration that was used by default. So what I did is I added this uh, dynamic, let's say, configuration by using the numCPUs get physical, which in other words returns 8. And this showed me that uh, uh, it changed the way that the CPUs are uh, used. So it changed the behavior of the server, plus it uh, provided a huge, a huge boost uh, it, to its throughput. So we will uh, rebench, uh, rebenchmark the tools after I made this uh, change, this configuration. That is why I'm saying that the server is optimized, in quotes, because it is not an optimization, it's, it is just a simple configuration. And uh, it seems that uh, you have to, to go through this uh, 
this benchmarking yourself if you are creating a, a web API to find the optimal configuration for your setup. And apart from this, from this method, from this configuration, as you can see here in the Actix web docs, we also have a lot of other methods like the keep alive option or uh, max connections rate or max connections. And I'm sure that uh, if we if we configure these uh, methods too, it will have an impact on the output of the server. But we will not do that. We will just go with this uh, configuration, with this uh, workers configuration. This will be our only change. And this, as I said, changed from 16, 16, which were the logical CPUs, to 8, which are the physical CPUs that I have in my system. So, uh, this was a change, and let's get into the good stuff, which is the benchmarks. We have our two APIs ready. This is the minimal, as you can see minimal the data is the same we have fixed all the bugs and this is the rust api so let's get into the good stuff as i said we will perform both benchmarks with uh, apache bench and with wrk so let's start with apache bench and let's also bring this into play so that we can see our resources and everything. So let's come here and let's start benching. At the same time I have uh, a lot of responses about uh, various stuff uh, related to the benchmarks and one of them uh, is a proposal to use caching in the bench benchmarks which I will do, yeah, we can create a video with the uh, caching enabled, uh, but for now let's stick to these uh, benchmarks. As you can see, uh, the utilization of the CPUs by the minimal .NET Web API is around 60%, our memory currently is fluctuating uh, to from 1 giga to less than 1 giga 1.5 now okay this was the these were the resources we have our results oh no let's let's put it here and let's benchmark the rust api and let's see our uh, differences in the resources. The CPU usage is uh, a lot less than 60%. The memory usage is 9.5 megabytes. A huge difference again. The utilization is the one you see. We are not maxing out, but everything is used. Memory still under 10 megabytes. CPU under 40% and we got our results. Let's compare these results quickly and then we will uh, proceed with the WRK tool. Uh, yeah, here we are. Excellent. So, concurrency level the same. Time taken for tests 54 for the minimal web API, 37 seconds for Actix web with our new configuration. Completely request everyone, none failed for both systems, which is excellent. Request per second, 9000.1, 13000 uh, Time per request, 111, 75 milliseconds. Time per request, 109, 74. Transfer rate, 9,500 uh, 9, to 50, 9, 9, 5, oh, sorry, sorry, 
and here we are in the million 1 million point 4 kilobytes per second huge difference here too and let's come here to these percentages uh, and as you can see Rust is uh, better across the board uh, the only thing that is worse is the longest request for Rust which is 1.3 seconds uh, whereas in uh, .NET Minimal is 1.3 and here we are 1.35, a little bit different. So as you can see, uh, Rust wins, but uh, with this tool, with the Apache Bench, Rust was already winning. So the most important thing um, and the most interesting thing is the WRK tool, where we saw that the minimal web API was, uh, was the winner. So let's start benching here. Let me bring the resources here too, sorry. So the CPU usage is this, the memory is this. As you can see from the memory usage, the WRK tool uh, provides more stress and more load to the API. Our CPUs are maxing out. memory still at 2.5 uh, approximately gigabytes okay so we are done and now it's time for the rust api so let's clean this let's copy the command and let's start benching and yeah here is the difference in the CPUs utilization, as you can see, the CPUs are maxing out at specific points in time. So we don't have that uh, normalized uh, curve for all the CPUs. We have a different distribution of the load. The memory was about uh, 100, uh, just like uh, the previous time when we did not have this uh, configuration. So let's come here now and let's start uh, the comparisons. Uh, latency 72 for the minimal API, 54 for Rust, requests per second, 2.37k, 3.02k. Uh, let's check the max latency too, 247 with 125 milliseconds. Uh, this is the number of requests, which is 516216 uh, 5, requests in 40 seconds. And here we have uh, oh, <laughs> we have a difference here. The one was 40 seconds and the other was 20 seconds. So, sorry for that. We will rebench. Sorry for that. So, we want 40 seconds. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, something always goes wrong. Either I have a bug in the code or a configuration is wrong with the commands. Nothing is ever perfect. This is interesting, but it doesn't matter. Whoever wants to... Let's check this. Yeah, our memory is about 100 megabytes, 122. The CPUs, as you can see, are utilized better than with the previous configuration and we are done yeah we are done so let's start a rechecking latency 72 54 for rust uh, max latency 98 with 247 
So Rust is winner with the latency. Request per second 2.37, 3.3, the same uh, approximately with pr the previous uh, run. Max uh, request per second 3.48, 3.47. So the max requests are is quite good for the minimal web API. Uh, let's see the total number of requests. As we saw here, we have <coughs> five six two one one six, and here we have seven two three two two six. So we have about uh, two hundred thousand requests difference for the same amount of time. Plus the gigabytes read are quite different as you can see. Requests per second 18,000, 14,000. Transfers, transfer per second 1.4 gigabytes, 1.8 gigabytes. So as you can see Rust wins both, both benchmarks, both the Apache Bench and the WRK uh, benchmarking. And uh, this simple configuration, as I said, made the difference. This is our only mm, sorry. This is our only change from the previous video to this video. Uh, and this made a huge difference. So as I said, you should uh, definitely check the configuration of the HTTP server if you are using Actix web. Because I'm sure that if you play with these values and the keep alive options and the other options, I'm sure you can optimize further the server in order to get more uh, throughput uh, out of it. So this is, this is the information that I wanted to share. I uh, hope you find it interesting. Maybe the, the next video will be between these two tools but with caching because I was requested to do such a video. So if you're interested, you can uh, subscribe to, to get the notification and check the videos. So thank you for watching and have a great day.